Okay, hello everyone, and uh, thank you very much for watching my videos about uh, Power Factory. And mm, today I am creating uh, a short video again for one of my master students. He 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 is uh, really interesting on uh creating a network and there are multiple generators and multiple uh elements that they have uh controllers okay and um, to demonstrate a very useful tool that is the the templates um i will use the same example that we have been using for for a few videos but in this case i am using the dynamic version okay um you must remember this this is the classical uh, this is the classical um system that we have been using for for a few videos uh, here we have a synchronous generator step down transformer going to a load okay uh what is here uh here we have a synchronous generator but because I am interested today on RMS simulations, dynamic simulation, time domain simulations, um, this this uh, generator, synchronous generator, um, I have installed already controllers. Okay, as you can see here, this is the composite model, and you can see our, our people call uh, just the plant model, and you can see the interconnection between the synchronous generator, the AVR, and the governor. Okay. Remember, AVR is short for automatic voltage regulator, and that is the device controlling uh, voltage, okay? And the governor, as you must know, that is the um, the controller that is keeping the mechanical power going into the synchronous machine, okay? Um, well, what I tried to say is this synchronous machine, there is, there is, uh, uh, there are controllers over here, okay? A classical mistake or rookie mistake is that if I need to have six or seven generation unit like this, people used to use this, select, and then copy. Where is copy? Copy, copy. I don't see. Oh, here, copy. And then you say paste. Where is paste now? Okay, here. Where is paste? Paste. Now I need to say paste. And people do this, okay? Uh, that 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 is the lazy way to do things okay people say copy and paste i hate people copy and paste but people say that they save time doing that okay uh, but however um that is a classical mistake when you do copy and paste okay you are copying the objects and pasting the objects but you must be careful be because uh, for instance in this transformer you can see we are cop copying the element and also the type, okay? That is a good news. We have this transformer ready for, uh, ready to work, okay? And the generator, as you can see here, you can have the element synchronous machine and you have here the type. This synchronous generator is ready to work. Uh, stop for lot flow, okay? But if you are planning to run a dynamic simulation, a time domain simulation in order to get for instance frequency response, uh, they are not, they are not, uh, you can see the controllers they are not there okay and for that reason I don't suggest to do copy and paste in this way if you are working with um, for instance a wind turbine model that you have spent one year creating the model and there are thousands of DSL and thousands of composite model in size and so blah 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 I mean I don't suggest to do this because if you do copy and paste, uh, you are losing uh, the connectivity between the controllers and the measurements and the uh, um, network components, okay? Um, I think this is, uh, this is a stupid. Uh, what is the clever way to do this, okay? Uh, let me delete here, yes. I will not use that approach. The approach that I will to teach you today is something called the templates, okay? Uh, a few years ago, um, Power Factory decided to make the life easy for some people and they create this functionality, okay? Uh, you must be aware that there is a, here on the right hand side a button that says General Templates, okay? If you press that button, automatically Power Factory will launch this window 
and you will go here to the library of template that you have over there, okay? And you can see many of you know that Power Factory 2020 have a very interesting library, including battery model, wind turbine model, fax, uh, PV systems, and so on, okay? Those, uh, those templates allow you to copy and paste, but including, including first uh, topology, I mean the connectivity between devices, but also the connectivity between uh, network components and at the same time uh, controllers, okay? And that is key, that is important, okay? What I, uh, what I will teach you now is to create a template that you can use inside your project, okay? As you can see over there, those templates, they are by default, uh, created by Power Factory. They are located in the global library. You can go to the top, the excellent library, and you you will find those templates, okay? If you want to use them. Uh, today, what I want to do is the following. I want to create my own template for this generator and transformer, okay? What I will do is a straight away, extremely simple, okay? What I need to do is here, uh, select, then right button, then define a template, um, Power Factory will ask me what is the name that I would need to use to define this template. And I will say my, my gen set template. Okay. That is the name that I will use for my template. And Power Factory say, okay, and would you like to include the following external object in the template? And Power Factory will ask you, okay, would you like to include the dynamic model? I mean, the element, uh, the composite model. And I say, yes. Okay, Power Factory come back to you and say, everything is done for you, okay? But now the question is, okay, Power Factory say that the, it did something for me. Let me see, let me see where is that, okay? I will go to the uh, data manager. Now I will go straight away. Let me, okay, I need to minimize this. I need to uh, minimize this as well. Uh, here, let me go here, okay. Um, I believe you can see here, this is my project. This is the project that I have been using for a few weeks. This is the, 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 the project that is active. And here you can see the local library inside your project, okay. And if you look over here, there is a folder inside the local library inside my project that is called templates. And if you go inside that, you will find my template, okay? And what is the surprise? Okay, they are no surprise. Over there, you will find my my uh, my template. I mean, the gen set template that I create inside. What do you have inside, okay? Uh, you must be careful, it's quite interesting because I know people that they try to copy and paste things and put here inside the template and, and then they have an issue, okay? The, the, um, you, can you can create this template by hand, okay? But you must be careful because you will need the graphical, the graphical information, the graphical data. I mean, um, um, you can see here in green color, you have the network elements and also you have the plant model that you already created, okay? As you can see here, we have this generator. Here we have the the, the station, the bus bar, and here we have the transformer. Okay, as you can see, the transformer has only one side connected, and that is the high uh, that is the high voltage side. Okay, okay. Um, let me let me explain the following. A lot of people they try to create this by themselves. They put here the um, the Composite model, the boost bar, the generator, but if this information is missing, you will have not graphical representation inside the uh, inside the grid model, okay? Because because one of the things that Power Factory do when you define the template in automatic way is that those graphical objects over here, the network elements, they are included and also the setting for the um, results and so on, okay? Well, by coming back to my explanation, we create this general template and now we need to use it, okay? What I will do now is I will close the data manager and I need to insert another set of generator like this. I will go here to um, the right hand side. I will go to the drawing tools and at the drawing tools, I will take the general templates. 
I will select the general template over here and I will use my gen set, okay? Now you can see something very interesting. Now I have here in my in my pointer here I have the symbol for templates but you can see in blue co in blue color something grayish that um, you have something similar to this one and I will put near to this boost bar here and everything is connected okay now what we have here is another transformer and this transformer it will be similar type 1 and we will have a push bar again mm, similar to the other one and we have a generator voila and now we have here a generator but the controllers the controllers they are copy and paste with your installation okay again if you are using something very basic like this a generator and a transformer mm, it's probably no no not so complicated but if you are working with a big uh, wind turbine model fully rated with two converters and so on this is the best way to do things okay what I will do now is okay I don't want to create confusions I will use this name okay I will use this boost bar it will be S1A and this one will be S1B and here this will be the transformer 2 yes and now what i also need to co to change here is this will be the power plant model for the generator two okay great and now we have here two uh two generators okay um i need to i need to show you that this is properly working because i know a few videos where people say no the thing is working and then you try at home and it's not working okay what I will do is the following. I will run initial conditions and I will show you here there is a simulation event and the simulation event is increasing 20% the load, okay? Let's see again. Uh, we have here 50 uh, megawatts and zero reactive power and the simulation event is a load event increasing 25%, okay? What I'm telling you is that the event is um, increasing only 25% this load here, 50 megawatts, okay? Of course, I create this very small uh, disturbance in order to see the frequency response. Uh, to see the frequency response of this system, I am using time domain plots. I am using the classical plots and, that, and this is the rotor speed in per unit. Everybody know that the rotor speed is the best way to see the frequency generated inside your synchronous machine because the frequency in per unit will be numerically equal to the rotor speed in per unit, okay? And, and from there, what you need to do also is I am showing here also the result for the generator one and I am looking into the uh, rotor angle, okay? Now what I will do is, uh, coming back to my network, I need to define uh, results, uh, RMS results for this generator. I will use the simple way, right button, and I will use here result for RMS simulations. And now I have uh, an object defining an object containing the results, numerical results of the RMS simulation. Let me see here, the variables by default, they include here the rotor speed, okay? What I will do now is initial conditions and I want to run a short simulation, let's say uh, 10 seconds, okay? And what I will do here now is I will append one more, arrow, one more row to uh, plot the rotor speed of the generator number two and then I will include I will include another row for um, generator two and I will present here um, the rotor angle okay okay um, as you can see over here there are two results one rotor speed for uh, rotor speed for generator one, one rotor speed for generator two, the same, uh, it's it's with the angle, and coming back to my network, well, um, today I show you a very simple way that you can replicate or duplicate um, power system components that they have 
dynamic models inside. Uh, for instance, if you are using synchronous generator and you need to mm, duplicate or or install several times the same generator with the same controllers, that is the simple way to do it and using just the general template, okay? The general template is a very powerful tool and you can use for your um, for creating your system extremely simple. And what you need to remember is that they are located inside your project library and there is a folder that is called templates. And over there you will find your, uh, your template, the template that you define by yourself, okay? Um, I think this video can be useful for some of my master's students, a PhD already they know that, but also um, I think somebody from consultancy probably will find this something useful, okay? Utilities guys, they are quite clever, um, they read the user manual, and if you read the user manual you will find this kind of instruction, okay? Probably this video is just to save time for some of my students going to the user manual, okay? I highly suggest going to the user manual, there are a lot of information over there, but the people they don't read, they prefer watch videos on YouTube, okay? I'm, I'm sorry for saying that. Um, well, thank you very much for watching this video. See you um, later in another one. Thanks.